Good day, viewers. This is the new Cypro Mainstream on Eastern Report TV, broadcasting to you via the internet through your device. And these are the leading stories we're currently following, both local and globally. I'm Tracy, Dominic, and here are the headlines. Nigerians throw Anambra gubernatorial aspirant Madoka after he reportedly said he will build 21 universities if elected. Imo government floats awards for media practitioners. Ipazo extols Abia Bond Dr. Uwago for being part of vaccine research. And now the news in full. Dr. Godwin Maduka, a United States of America based medical doctor aspiring to be governor of Anambra State next year, has revealed his plans to build 21 universities in the state if elected. Maduka said that if elected governor, he was going to establish higher institutions of learning so that Indianambra could have greater access to university education. However, Nigerians on social media did not receive his campaign promise and they showed him over what could be an impossible fit. Imo state government says it will, in the coming year, float awards for serving and deserving media practitioners in the state. The State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Chief Mbadiwe Emalundu, disclosed this weekend while speaking at the first anniversary celebration of OSISA 96.1 FM in Oere. Senator Hope Uzodima is a very media-friendly governor. He has approved the setting up of varying awards in 2021 for serving and deserving media practitioners in Imo states, Emelundo said. Let's go on a short break. New Cycle returns. Welcome back. Governor of Abia State, Dr. Okezie Ipazo, has extolled the contributions of Dr. Oyema Obuago, the Abia Bond Associate Professor of Medicine at the Yale School of Medicine. The governor, in a tweet via his Twitter account on Sunday, described Obuago, he said, and I quote, a twin son of Professor Chibuzo Obuago, a former vice chancellor of Abia State University, Uturu, ABSU, and former secretary to the Abia State government, SSG, as one of the leading lights in the newly found globally celebrated Pfizer vaccine against COVID-19. According to him, his government will continue to celebrate such rare feats achieved by Abians everywhere to serve as a motivation for others to embrace dedication and thrive in whatever lawful field of endeavor they choose in life. Keza is standing by for sports news. All right, thank you very much, Tracy. And in sports, football governing body FIFA has placed a five-year ban on the Confederation of African Football, CAF boss, Mr. Ahmad Ahmad, from all football-related activity on grounds of corruption. The ban would effectively jeopardize the re-election campaign by the Malagasy politician for his second term as CAF boss. A statement on FIFA's website read, The Educatory Chamber of the Independent Ethics Committee found him guilty of having breached at 15, duty of loyalty, at 20, offering an accepting gift or other benefits, and at 25, abuse of position of the 2020 edition of the FIFA Code of Ethics as well as at 28, with appropriation of funds of the 2018 edition. It is exactly two years until the next and groundbreaking edition of FIFA World Cup trademark. The compact nature, modern landscape, and fascinating culture offered by the first edition of the event to be held in the Middle East and Arab world will guarantee a unique experience in 2022. Among the many distinctive features, Traveling fans will have the opportunity to potentially attend more than one match a day during the group stage, which will feature an exciting schedule with four daily fixtures, as announced earlier this year. Thank you, Keza. That's all the news we are currently following on New Cycle Mainstream today on Eastern Reports TV. Do well to like and follow all our social media handles at Eastern Reports TV. And of course, on YouTube at Eastern Reports TV. Thank you for watching. <laughs>